Welcome students. Let us see a question from the topic probability. This question has been taken from NCRT book of the standard 12. Here question is, assume that each born child is equally likely to be a boy or a girl. If a family has two children, what is the conditional probability that both are girls? Both are girls. Given that two conditions, two cases, two questions are here. First, the youngest is a girl and second, at least one is a girl. Okay, let us see the solution here. First of all, we need to find out sample space S. Yes. Okay, so here given that family has two children, family has two children. With the help of this given condition statement, we can find sample space. So a condition may be boy 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 girl girl boy and girl girl this may be four conditions if a family is having two children so what is number of elements in this sample space clearly this is four we have to find out the conditional probability that both are girls so here first let event a b both are girls and event b b the youngest is a girl the youngest is a girl okay so here we have to find out probability of a condition to b as we know the formula this is equal to probability of a intersection B divided by probability of B. So let us find out what is uh, the numbers of events A and B. So both are girls means only one case is GG. So therefore number of elements in A is equal to 1. Similarly we can find out this one also here event b is the youngest is a girl so you see here youngest is girl is this case as well as this case youngest is girl okay so here elements of event b will be bg and gg this is equal to i mean nb is equal to 2 here and what is a intersection b here a intersection b this element is common in both the events gg so therefore n a intersection b this is equal to 1 so now we need to find out probability of A intersection B and probability of B. So we know probability of A intersection B will be N A intersection B divided by N S. N A intersection B is equal to 1 and N S is 4. This is the value of probability A intersection B. And uh, probability of B will be probability of b b n b is equal to 2 here we will use the formula n b by n s so n b is equal to 2 n s is 4 so this is equal to 1 by half so therefore probability of a condition to b numerator is probability of a intersection b that is 1 by 4 so this is 1 by 4 divided by probability of B is 1 by 2 and this is equal to 1 by 4 into 2 this is equal to half this is the answer of the first question now second question we have to find out at least one is a girl so in this case A will remain same event A is this one because this is already given here 
both are girls we have to find the conditional probability that both are girls and given that at least one is a girl okay so here a is both are girls and n a is already given here so n a is equal to 1 and let b will be at least one is a girl at least one is a girl so what will be the element here at least one maybe more than one also so at least one is girl there will be all the three cases here that is bg gb and gg bg gb and gg so therefore we are getting here nb is equal to 1 2 3 nb is equal to 3 now we can find out probability of b probability of b is equal to nb divided by ns and this is equal to 3 by 4 nb is 3 and ns is 4 correct so now we have to find out probability of a condition to b this is probability of a intersection b divided by probability of b and probability of a intersection b will be this is event a and uh, this is event b okay so this one is common in a intersection b here a intersection b consists of only this element so therefore n a intersection b is equal to 1 and therefore probability of a intersection b is equal to 1 by 4 correct now we can find out probability of a condition to b very easily so probability of a condition to b is 1 by 4 this is 1 by 4 divided by probability of b is 3 by 4 3 by 4 so finally we are getting 1 by 3 as the answer of this second part fine so students questions are very important very interesting so we need to give proper focus here and remain in touch with these videos so that we could get maximum benefit share these videos with your friends also and if you have any doubt or want to give any suggestion please write in the comment box and you are really enjoying these videos learning mathematics as a fun your likes are most welcome thank you very much